Welcome to the workshop at the Concord Free Public Library. My name is Christy and I'm here today to show you how to safely operate the workshop's wood and metal crafter tool, designed for use as a soldering iron or a wood burner. Let's start with the safety notes. This tool reaches temperatures of up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit and can cause second or third degree burns if handled improperly. Be sure to set up your workstation away from others, use the lowest possible temperature appropriate for your project, and turn the tool off immediately when it's not in use. In case of fire or injury, immediately call 911 and notify staff. A fire extinguisher and first aid kit are also available at the workshop's front desk in case of an emergency. Soldering and wood burning can produce fumes and smoke, which may be harmful if inhaled or ingested. For this reason, we only allow the use of lead-free solder and require the use of a tabletop fume extractor at all times when using this tool. While not required, you may also want to wear safety or eyeglasses and a mask or a respirator. And a quick reminder, this is an expert maker's tool, which means that in addition to this training video, each and every maker operating the machine will need to complete a safety waiver, which covers the use of all our expert maker's tools for one year. Minors under the age of 18 will need a parent or a guardian to help them complete this form, which you can fill out entirely online at cfpl.info slash waiver. Additionally, expert makers under the age of 10 must be accompanied by another expert maker at least 13 years of age. Okay, let's get making. This tool uses a rechargeable battery system. So along with the tool itself, you'll receive a rechargeable battery and an adapter. To assemble the power hub, just slide the adapter onto your battery until you hear a click. Before you plug the wooden metal crafter into the power hub, you'll need to choose the right tip attachment for your project. The workshop offers a variety of soldering and wood burning tips, or you can bring any of your own standard soldering or wood burning tips from home. For additional compatibility information, you can check out the complete manual at cfpl.info slash wood and metal manual, or visit the manufacturer's website at works.com. Choose a space away from others to serve as your workstation. First, place one of our mini steel work plates on a stable work surface. Then attach the magnetic tool cradle, and if you're planning to solder, as many magnetic clips as you'll need to hold your project steady while you work. Double check that the clips are fully tightened onto the flexible arms. Now plug in the fume extractor and arrange the nozzle as close as possible to your work area. Finally, place an oven safe dish and a pair of needle nose pliers beside your workstation. To attach a tip, use your pliers to hold the tip steady and screw the tool onto the tip. To prevent accidents, get in the habit of using pliers every single time, even when the tool hasn't yet been turned on. Now you can plug the wooden metal crafter into the power hub by connecting the cable to the socket at the base of the tool. When you're ready to start making, turn on the fume extractor. You can adjust the intensity of the suction using the knob on the front of the machine. Press the power button on the top of the power hub, as well as the power button on the tool handle, and use the plus and minus buttons to adjust the heat of the tool to the lowest temperature appropriate to your project. If you need to put the tool down at any point, be sure to place it securely in the metal cradle on your workstation. If you need to change tips, unplug the tool from the power source, then use a pair of pliers to hold your current tip steady and unscrew the tool from the tip. Place any hot attachments directly into an oven safe dish, then pick up your new tip with the pliers and screw the tool onto the tip. Don't try to rotate the pliers themselves and never change the tip of the tool while it is still plugged into the power hub. When the new tip is secure, you can plug the tool back into the power hub and reheat it. When you're finished using the wooden metal crafter, turn the power hub off and disconnect the tool. If you've been using the tool to solder, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water, then wipe down your work area and everything on it with a heavy metal removal wipe. Press the release button on the battery to separate it from the adapter before returning it to staff. Congratulations, you're now an expert maker. If you want to learn more about everything our wooden metal crafter can do, you can find the complete manual on our website at cfpl.info slash wood and metal manual, or visit works.com for more information and tutorials direct from the manufacturer. The workshop is made possible by the generous support of the Concord Free Public Library Corporation, a nonprofit organization supported by makers like you. Learn more about all the corporation does to make our library awesome and how you can help at cfplcorp.org. And if you just can't get enough making, be sure to check out the workshop's full library of maker tools and upcoming classes and events at cfpl.info slash workshop. Bye-bye.